the moon has been known since prehistoric times. It's the second brightest object in the sky after the sun. Due to its size and composition, the moon is sometimes classified as a terrestrial planet, along with Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The moon was first visited by the Soviet spacecraft Luna 2 in 1959, and it's the only extraterrestrial body to have been visited by humans. In the summer of 1994, the moon was very extensively mapped by the spacecraft Clementine, and then again in 1999 by Lunar Prospector. In recent years there has been a special interest in the dark side of the moon. This popular term refers to the fact that the same physical half of the moon is always facing Earth, which in turn means there's a dark side. It's long been a theory by some ufologists that the far side of the moon could harbour a base for extraterrestrials. It's thought that if they travel long distances they need somewhere to stay while making trips to other planets. China's recently made headlines as being the first to land a probe on the dark side of the moon. The spacecraft has taken pictures of the moon's far side before, but no lander has ever touched down there. This venture could prove that China is going to be the leading power in space exploration alongside the US and Russia. China has said it's proud to be the first nation to land on this side of the moon. On board the Changi 4 there is a robot vehicle. Its job will be to explore the terrain for future missions. This mission was no easy task. Experts working on the mission have said the number one issue they had was communication with the Earth. This is because no one had been to this part of the moon before, so this was all new territory. It's been announced that China is planning another mission for this year. However, this one involves taking samples from the lunar terrain. By 2030, the first Chinese astronauts will be setting foot on the Earth's natural satellite. This is only the beginning for China's space program, as they are planning to build their own space station by 2022. China have already been sending back photographs of the dark side of the moon, and this has been creating excitement online. Regardless about what you think about the dark side of the moon, it's incredible to think how much we've achieved in regards to space travel. So what do you guys think about this side of the moon? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.